In this episode, a family's financial decisions threaten to derail one sister's dreams. Will she find a way to soar or will her ambitions crash and burn? But first, am I the butthole for excluding my niece from my son's birthday party after she ruined his first party? Posted by Throw Rapapo. Last week, I hosted my son James' nine birthday party at my parents' house. I paid for and organized the whole event. We just had to use my parents' place because our house was being renovated. My parents had agreed and said they had no problems. I had invited James' closest friends from school and football club for the party, and two of his cousins from his dad's side that he's very close with. James had made it clear he wanted a friends-only party and I was okay with it. However, the day before, my sister Linda called me angry that her daughter Ava was not invited. I tried to explain that it wasn't a party for family members. Also, James wasn't very close to Ava. She is a bit spoiled and always picks fight with James wherever they are made to play together. Linda didn't want to listen and cried that Ava was having a hard time making friends in school and it didn't help if her own cousin was excluding her. I felt sorry but I didn't relent and Linda cut the call. She then called mom and they tried to convince James behind my back. He also said no and told me. My parents apologized and I thought that was it. Fast forward on the party date, I have everything arranged and the party is going well. Halfway through it, Linda arrives with Ava and my parents say they'll end the party early if I don't let Ava join. I reluctantly did. James was upset but I told him to ignore her and enjoy time with his friends. Ava tried joining the games but would get upset and scream if she lost and Linda would make the kids restart. Obviously, the kids lost interest and stopped playing and it upset James. They tried playing football but since Ava couldn't play, she constantly interrupted them. They went to the living room to play Xbox, Ava failed a few rounds and got angry and left. Nothing worked for her and James didn't care. After a few hours, I took the kids to cut the cake only to find Ava had thrown it to the floor and was crying at the table because everyone was mean to her. This was the final straw and James started screaming at her. He called her a loser and evil and started crying because his party was ruined. Linda was upset and asked James to apologize. I stepped in and told Linda to take Ava and get out. My parents stepped in and told me James was out of line and Ava was just a kid. I was so angry then that I just ended the party altogether and told Linda her daughter has no friends because she's a brat. I called my husband and we took all the kids to McDonald's and got a different cake for James to cut there. I took pics and posted them to Facebook as well. Since then, I've received calls and texts from Linda calling me a B-word and butthole for excluding Ava and has been demanding James apologize. My parents have berated me as well and are angry because James now refuses to speak to them. I am not sure if James should apologize and I don't want to either. We did nothing wrong and I won't tolerate anyone ringing my son's birthday. But perhaps I shouldn't have insulted Ava. So I don't know. Am I the butthole? Was James right in calling Ava a loser and evil? Should James apologize to Ava for his words? Did you ever experience something similar? Feel free to share. It's absurd for Linda to demand James apologize for not wanting to play with Ava when Ava was the one who disrupted the party and threw the cake on the floor. Why should James apologize for not wanting to play with a spoiled brat? Hella Shell commented. Not the butthole. Linda Ava might be a lost cause you just need to ignore from here on out, but I talked to your parents. They apologized after the first round of nonsense, but they came back with because Ava's just a kid? Um, and James is also a kid, no? And a younger one at that. So what was their point with that argument? You could try all of the adults sitting down and talking through the situation, but ultimately the main points are. Sure, as a parent Linda thinks she's helping by fighting for opportunities for Ava to play with other kids. But all of those opportunities will be futile if she doesn't also teach Ava that the way she plays with other kids will make them not want to play with her. She can demand that Ava be included over and over again, but if she doesn't recognize that Ava's behavior will never endear her to other people, and continues to ignore the responsibility she has as a parent to help Ava deal with losing, then all she's doing is finding more chances for Ava to solidify her bad reputation with even more kids. A comment from Francis 501842. While there are many buttholes in this story, it's not you, OP. Not the butthole. Your niece. Your sister. And your parents, however. Major buttholes. 
Ava is just a child. What does that make James, whose birthday party was ruined? I would go low, contact until they all apologize to you and James. Ada for screaming at my parents for trying to use my college funds to pay off my brother's debt. Posted by Low Raspberry, 6822. I, 15 year old female, screamed at my parents for trying to pay off the loan my brother, 19 year old male, had taken from the bank to purchase a new car that he can't pay back. I know they are just trying to help to help my brother get on his feet now that he's left home, but it has been my dream since I was very little to be a pilot, and the training for it is very costly so every little piece of money I've made, I've been putting into a bank account to save, I've even started working two jobs of babysitting, and helping out in a local cafe. Two weeks ago my brother brought himself a brand new car with a loan that he got from the bank, and now he is telling my parents he can't pay it back. He doesn't have a job and my parents pay for his college accommodation. When I heard this I didn't think much about it and offered to bring his CV into a couple of places in town and see if he could get a job. Last night my parents told me that they were going to take the money from my account to pay for his loan and I was furious with them. I screamed and called them buttholes and said that they didn't care about me at all because they never supported my dreams. I am the only girl in my family with a younger and older brother. I haven't spoken to my parents since then. I feel like all my hard work has gone down the drain and I will never get to accomplish my dream. My relationship with my brother was good before this and I know that his bad financial decisions were not intended to harm me, but I am still angry with him and my parents for behaving like this. Update. I was able to get in contact with my brother and he had no idea that my parents planned to use my income for his debt and he immediately agreed to refuse to let them go through with this. He also told me that yes our parents co-signed the loan and that they said they were able to pay it if he needed. I also visited my uncle today at his bank and sat with him for a long time to discuss my options. He has said that he had checked our parents' finances and that they are more than capable of paying the loan without using my income. He said that unfortunately there is nothing I can do till I am 18 about the joint account. Right now I feel betrayed by my parents so I am staying at my friend's house for a while. My entire family now knows about this. Do you think it was fair of your parents to use your money to pay off your brother's loan without your consent? How do you feel about your relationship with your brother now, and do you think he should be responsible for paying back the loan himself? It's absurd how the parents are willing to sacrifice their daughter's dreams and savings for their son's financial mistakes. Why do they prioritize their son's loan over their daughter's future? Alien Overlord 10001 commented, Not the butthole. Your parents are doing the wrong thing by you and by him. They should let him default on the loan and have the car repossessed. It's not nice, but he needs a dose of reality. I'm querying what kind of bank loans money to someone who can't pay it back. If he has no job, how did they think they were getting this money back? Was it a bank or something more shady? A comment from Nubs the Cat. Absolutely effing not the butthole. What the actual F is wrong with your parents? You work for and save that on your own? I am so sorry and ashamed on your parents' behalf. You are more mature than your brother and parents combined. Start hiding the money you make where they can't find it. You will go far, OP. This is a setback, but with your determination you will rise above all these buttholes in life. My heart goes out to you. Not the butthole. Check out our playlist with all our videos. You can find it in the description box below. Am I the butthole for reducing my parents' allowance by whatever amount they share with my siblings? Posted by Original Good 2218. My parents live in a less developed country than I do. My siblings and I all live in North America or Europe. When I got my new job, I did my budget and saw that I could send home roughly $1,300 a month without it affecting my personal comfort. I would still be able to save for my future and my mom and dad could retire. So when I was home, I set up a joint account for us. That way I could see if they needed more and make sure that they were not getting scammed or anything. After about a year and a half I started noticing that there was a $200 transfer every month. I asked them about it and they said he was having difficulties with his budget so they were helping him out. My brother doesn't need help. He is a scholarship student. He actually receives a stipend from my home government to study abroad. What he wants is money to party. So I reduce the amount I give them by $200. Obviously they do not need it if they can afford to give it away every month. 
My mom called me when she noticed and was yelling at me for being a crappy daughter and sister. I asked her to tell me exactly how much money they contributed to my party fund when I was away for school. Just so you know the answer is zero dollars. They also tried to talk me out of attending university in Canada. I'm not sure how common the idea of filial piety is in other cultures, but it's a big deal in mine. She went off about it. I told her that they didn't need the money and I had better ways to spend $200 than to gift it to my brother so he could get drunk with his friends more. She said that I am treating them like children by restricting how they spend their money. I replied that I was not going to subsidize my brother through them, and that from now on the amount they got from me would be $1,100, and that if they sent him money again, I would know and reduce their money by that amount going forward. My brother called me to be word me out about cutting off his money from our parent. I said that I hadn't. He was welcome to tell our parents to go back to back breaking jobs at their age to pay for his partying in London. Then they would have my money to live off of and their wages to pay for his drinking. My boyfriend is on my side. As are many of my friends. Most of my family and people from my culture think I am being in butthole. However, for the last two months, my parents have only been spending on themselves. What do you think about the daughter's decision to reduce the amount of money she sends to her parents? Do you think a daughter should continue to send money to her parents despite their spending habits? It seems that the parents are taking advantage of their daughter's generosity and kindness by giving her brother money without her consent, and it also seems that they are trying to guilt trip their daughter into continuing to financially support her brother's partying lifestyle. It is not fair or just for the parents to expect their daughter to financially support her brother when he is already receiving a scholarship and stipend from the government. A comment from Whilst While. Not the butthole. And since your parents probably don't tell you often enough, I'll say it for them. You are an amazingly thoughtful, loving, and caring child to your parents. You send them upwards of $1,000 every month just so they can retire and not have to work. That's amazing. You are also reducing the amount you give them as a preventative measure to make sure they don't get taken advantage of by a spoiled son. If they give $200 now without consequences, it would eventually increase to $300, then $400, then $500, and so on and so forth. You set a boundary that will help your parents to keep their money for themselves so they can continue to remain retired and not spread themselves too thin. A comment from Extinct Diplodocus. Not the butthole. If you wanted to give your brother $200 a month, you could send it direct. You don't have to give your parents money to make an end run so that you are giving your brother that $200. I agree with your logic. If they're sending $200 a month to brother, that's money they don't actually need from you. The total effect is that you stop giving brother $200 a month. If you like this content, please consider subscribing. We post new Reddit stories every single day.